Good evening, I'm Dr. Gail Beebe, President of Westmont College. It was my pleasure to accept the 2013 Excellence in Service Award on behalf of Westmont, and I'm just as pleased to present it to the 2014 honoree, CMC Rescue. The Excellence in Service Award is given to a business or nonprofit organization that has consistently provided outstanding customer and community service. Honorees in this category have leadership teams that are committed to innovation and creative problem solving and embrace public service as a core business value. CMC Rescue clearly fits the bill. In 1978, Jim Frank, an experienced search and rescue team member, recognized the need for better emergency equipment for rescue professionals. Jim knew that search and rescue equipment needed to be uniquely designed to support the weight of a victim, the rescuers, and all of their gear. He established the California Mountain Company in Santa Barbara to fill this need. Jim and a small dedicated crew began focusing resources on equipment for mountain rescue operations. As the market expanded and technology evolved, so did CMC. And in 1982, the company established its own manufacturing division. Adhering to rigorous design standards, exacting specifications, and internationally sanctioned quality inspections, CMC staff handcraft harnesses, straps, packs, and belts at the company's ISO certified headquarters in Goleta. As CMC Rescue grew, federal, state, and local agencies began contacting the company for technical advice. To share their experience and expertise more broadly, the CMC Rescue School was launched in 1982. Its first curriculum aimed to teach mountain rescue skills to fire service and other emergency responders. Today, CMC Rescue is an employee-owned company that has a strong and loyal following. It is globally recognized as a leading manufacturer of rescue and work at height equipment. Its employees are loyal too. Nearly 10% of the company's 75 plus staff actively serve as rescue team volunteers in their local communities. Please join me in congratulating CMC Rescue on the honor of being recognized for its excellence in service. It's such an honor to be up here. I'm humbled by the presence of this audience. I asked a question of myself, how did 36 years go by so quickly and how did we get here from the day that uh, Jim Frank started the company in his garage? And I think I came up with a pretty good answer <clears throat> and it has a lot to do with the people in this room. Jim was the son of a Pioneer Award recipient from this same group in this same room in 1996, 18 years ago. So he had really good business DNA going for him. <laughs> but I attribute the success of our company to the values that Jim has put in place from the earliest days. Jim grew up in a stable family environment and learned about commitment and caring for others. That's irreplaceable when you are raised in that environment. He was a very active in the scouting program and learned about community service. And he has an engineering degree and a law degree which came from access to our outstanding educational opportunities in the Central Coast. So when Jim got ready to start a company, he wasn't thinking, I wonder how much money I can make doing this. He was thinking, I wonder if I can help people save lives. That changed everything. And the people that came to work for CMC embraced those values and the culture that created by those values has survived many changes. It turned out to be strong medicine for all the challenges that would face the business going forward. So uh, this award particularly honors, I think, the intention of this business, which is to do something beyond just uh, be financially successful. And that's the, uh, the legacy of our company. Uh, Two more really important events took place recently. Uh, Jim was looking for an exit strategy and he had plenty of attractive offers to sell the company to people who would take it apart and move the jobs out of the area. Uh, he chose to sell the company to the employees and we have become a 100% employee owned company through an ESOP. <laughs> And those employee owners, 18 months ago, bought our first building in Goleta, and we committed to make this our permanent corporate headquarters and to stay here and be contributing members of this community for the long term. So, 
So my answer to the question is how did we get here? I believe it was embracing the values that this group really exhibits, uh, investing in the future, giving to others so that they have opportunities that they wouldn't otherwise have. Um, we have served in that capacity for now our 75 employees and I'm delighted to be a part of that. I'm thrilled to be a part of it. And, in, uh, and I really think it's appropriate at this time we should turn the spotlights around and honor the people out here that are making this possible and helping so many people go forward. Thank you very much. Thank you.